Hey guys, I'm back from vacation. It's Jenny and Nancy here with another live video for you on Tuesday. Oh, just kidding, it's Wednesday. Ha. Yeah, she just came back. So, Hi everyone. we're going to take a few minutes like we always do. We're going to share everything. I'm gonna show you guys, this was my idea from the beginning. Nancy said to show you just to give you guys an idea. Sometimes we just sketch it out. And I can't even show you when we did our video last time, we did a design that my boyfriend did for us. <laughs> it is kind of so funny. Cool. He drew the design for us, and I'm gonna try and pull it up on my camera here for you guys, so you can see. Do you want me to bring I'm the tips on about. it? Hi, Brad. How are you? We're so excited to see you. This was our design from last time. This is the picture Martin drew for us. <laughs> so that we would have something to go off of. And Nancy's husband, Hugh, did this picture for us. So we're gonna try and do this dragon head design. Hey, Creation Queen, how are you? How are you guys doing? And I'm gonna show you guys how to do um, a simple dragon scale application because I want a lot of you, you see me use them to fill places in a lot, but I want you guys still to have a good idea of how you can line them up and fill the nail up. So I'm gonna do at least four rows of dragon scale to show you guys how you can do that, okay? So Brad, I got two different I'm colors here. here is, that's the feature yeah, he last is. Time. Oh, here we go. This is the nail we did. So you can see, here's our drawing. Here's our little drawing from Martin. And hey, then Martin, this nail here, this nail here is the one that came from that picture. So Way different day and night. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Similar. But he did good, but right? He did a great job, yeah. Okay, and then I also just showed you guys these two colors that I used, but it's actually three colors. So I did a base of our CND Creative Play Wild Daisy. Oh, Vivid Daisy, I'm sorry, I can't read. And then I did one coat of green scream and one coat of pop and bubbly on the top of both of our nails so you can see what that looks like so green scream and pop and bubbly on top of this i really like it because it gave the gold like a nice shimmer <laughs> and i don't know if you guys have been watching game of thrones which the new episode was last sunday you can definitely see that the two it. dragons she has left are her gold and green dragon. So I thought, why not? We'll do something Game of Thronesy still. I should do a sunflower nail, Brad. Okay. Well, we're going to be breaking out our gel painting here soon, so I can probably show you how to do something like that on yeah, there. Jenny. That'll be fun. You know what? Jenny just won her first place. She got her first play in the competitions on yeah. the gel painting. So. We can do it. Yeah. All right. She's entered. The next one is in Oregon. So I'm going to take her trophy home for her again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get started with our first nail. I'm going to show you how to do your dragon scale application first. And then we'll get started on our exquisite crystal design. So we're actually using a new kit tonight. A really awesome mega kit that Nancy put together for all of you. She really wants to give you guys the best that she can. So she definitely went, put some new shapes in there. It's gonna be really, really awesome. I'm gonna show it to you in just a moment. But first we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started with our application here. And I picked up the wrong nail, but that's okay. Cause hmm? it doesn't Why the wrong nail? Oh, wrong color? Yeah, I'm, I was gonna do this on the other one, but it's, it's not a big deal, it's fine. I'm gonna show them how to do some dragon scale application. This actually might be easier to see on here anyway. So when you're doing this, you wanna use your Glitz glue gel in the condensed form, and I'll show you the pot in just a second. You wanna make sure that you have a nice even layer of your Glitz glue gel condensed, and make sure that you don't get too much, but you do wanna have enough because you don't wanna flood it, but you also don't want them popping off. So you need to make sure that you have just enough on there. The more that you do this, the more that you'll get the hang of it, the less that you'll hear me say all these things because you won't have to watch the videos every single time. You may want to, but you won't have to. 
Well, as I say, what time do you give a different look? Yeah, I do. Smoke. Well, I mean, and I like do Like an Exactly. Yeah, and we do that because we want you to know that you don't have to do the same designs every time. We give you everything that you need in order to achieve whatever look you're looking for. Oh, so yeah. this is the Glitz Glue Gel Condense in the 15G Pot. This is what I just brushed onto the nail that you watched me do. This is what it looks like on the inside. And then this is the brush I'm using here. This is our twin tip brush. And I can show you a nice, pretty, clean version. So here's your number six gel end here. You can see how nice and thin on the sides. Nancy's actually done a little bit of a different design with these, br these newer brushes. So you don't have to worry about them catching inside the lid. And then also our beautiful liner end, which I always use for my nail art. We also have our new crystal picker for you guys. You see me using this in just a moment. We have our nice thinner wax picking end and we also have a dotting tool which will help you move everything around. You don't have to worry about any beads getting stuck in there. I know that was a concern. And then also you can use it to do your nail art or whatever you're gonna need your dotting tool end for. So now that I've put my Glitz Glue Gel Condensed onto the nail, I'm gonna be using my Glitz No Wipe Gel Top Coat and I'm going to be floating that over the surface of the nail, guys. So I'm going to take my top coat, I'm gonna to make sure I have enough on there and then I'm just going to gently float this down the surface of the nail. And I'm doing this so that later I don't have to go in and re-top coat everything. And I don't have to worry about going in between all my little dragon scales with the top coat to make sure there's no sticky residue. It will just be nice and shiny and top coated. So be careful when you're doing this. You don't wanna do what I just did, which was I picked up a little bit of glue gel off the end there. So I'm just gonna go back in and cover that up a little bit. And then quick tip guys, when you're doing this, just swipe down the side of the nail gently so that you can retain that shape that you've created. Okay, you wanna make sure that that's not an issue for you. So now that you've done that, what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're going to start picking up your dragon scales and you're gonna place them one by one. And what I like to do is I place my first row first right down the center and then from there, I'll go in at the sides and I'll straighten everything up. Because you want this to be nice and straight and you want everything to be really close together. That's how you're gonna make sure that they don't come popping off. So just placing them down gently. You don't have to press too hard. They should just sit right in the top of that. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. I know this is not a typical day for live for us, but I didn't want to leave you hanging since I wasn't here yesterday. Did you have a great time in Virginia? I had a great time in Virginia. I got to go to the zoo in DC. I got to do a bunch of really cool stuff. I went to the Air and Space Museum, which was really, really cool. I got to see the plane that dropped the atomic bomb, which is sad and beautiful at the same time it was really really cool i really enjoyed my time there i'm not gonna lie i was sad to come home, but happy to come home it was really nice honestly i mean there was like one kind of rainy day but most of it really honestly was not that bad i was wondering if you can see it from instagram it looks so blurry in the instagram though. oh look at that Oh, I don't know why. Can you move it up closer and see what it is? Or maybe me, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, Nancy. I'll be honest. So you see how <coughs> I'm going in at the sides here and I'm going one on each side. I'm not just going down one side or the other side. This is kind of going to push them close together and keep them a little straighter. So make sure that when you're doing this, like I said, you're paying attention to if you're flooding it, 
you don't want to flood it because it's really pretty and shiny. You don't want to get rid of the shiny. Yay. I got one. Nancy does things. have one. Show, show them, Nancy. Lily is going to be joining us on our live video adventures. So excited about that. I've been telling her she should. And finally she said, okay, Jenny, I'm going to do it. I was like, oh, Lily, okay. Okay, here, back. Sorry, you now I that took Nancy's face. Done, now that Nancy's done took showing her face. nails off, she took my space. So you guys can see how I'm doing this. And honestly, once you get the hang of it, it's going to go by very quickly. Let's move a little bit. Yep. Good. There you go. Perfect. Okay, Jenny, I can't wait. So just now, everybody make me so curious about Game of Thrones because I need to no, watch no, she it. can't help it. I need to watch it in order to understand what is that. Too Not, much drama, Jenny. I know. Drama. I know that I'm moving the nail around a lot here, guys, and that's okay. You can move your client's nail around. I don't want you to feel like you can't do that. Obviously, you can't turn your client's hand upside down, but you can have them flip their hand around so that it's like this for you. But you just want to make sure that everything's going to be nice and lined up. Honestly, that's all you need to be paying attention to. Once you get that down, it's going to be easier for you to pick these up in a faster pace. It's not going to take so long for you to do these on your client. There we go. Nice and beautiful. I love them. Off the camera for Facebook. Oh, Off sorry. a little bit. Here we go, guys. Hey, Brass, how the Facebook is view Because on Instagram, on our, on my Blurry. Ends, on Jenny Ann is good, but my aunt, it was not good. Maybe my phone. I don't know. You can tell me. Yeah, you tell us. Please, Brad, we need your help. Save us. <laughs> That's what Lily said to me. Oh, save me. I told her, oh, you're going to do a live video, okay? She said, save me. You guys, like I said, you're going to get a lot quicker with this. I remember when I first started doing this, it took me like 30 minutes to do a full nail with dragon scale. It probably only takes me like 10 or 15 now. It doesn't really take that long anymore. So I'm just going in side by side. Like I said earlier, it's gonna be easier for you than just going straight down one side, down one side. You go on the side and the side, it's gonna be easier for you to see whether you're keeping it straight or not. If you guys are finding that your dragon scales are all the wrong side, you can just swing your little thing around a little bit and they're gonna start flipping. Okay. You'll see some of them the right way once you do that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Absolutely don't feel like just because I'm doing this, you can't ask me any questions. I'm always here for you. Hey, Beyond Polish, how are you, sweetie? So when you guys are doing this at home, you're going to notice that sometimes when you're picking these up, you may get them backwards. Just flick it off the end. That's okay, that's what I do. If I pick it up the wrong way, I just flick it off and I pick it up again. Hey, Nene, how are you? So 
So any questions that you have, guys, you can always, always email us at info at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com or you can give us a call at 206-771-5086. Again, that's 206-771-5086. Or you can just message us on Instagram or Facebook. I mean, we're always available for you. Um, not only that, but we do have our own group, Crystal Nail Obsession. You can find us there as well. You can post any questions or concerns you may have. And we're going to answer you to the best of our ability. I'm probably only going to do two more on the sides here because you don't want to go so far down that when you're doing this, it's going to catch on the sides of the nail. Um, and I generally, when I'm doing full coverage, I'm not going to go right in on the edge there. I will fill that part in with crystals because I don't want to have to worry about this peeling or anything like that off the edge of the nail. So you just want to be careful and make sure you don't have it too, too close. So you can see what that's going to end up looking like. Oh, it's so cute. You know what I kind of want to do here is I'm going to put some bigger crystals right here at the top because why not? We can, so we, we should. I'm going to put some little crystals right next to that. So I think these are our SS3s here. It's either SS3 or SS4. Sometimes it's hard to tell when they're this small. But I'm pretty sure it may be SS3. So you can see how I have some of my beautiful crystals right at the top. Thank you so much, Beyond. Thank you. So sweet of you. Aww. I love making magic too. And then this here is an SS. What? Six? Here? A little bit bigger than the one I just stuck on the side. That's okay. Sometimes when you do that, guys, you can just knock it off. Jamie, I see the mess. It's okay. You see my mess? You're so much better than me. Thinking was missing. There we go. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Jenny is super dragon Messy, scale. I know. It's a tip and trick sometimes. Oh, you if when you first time using that dragon scale, you might get so confused. So then when Jenny did, she yeah, lights them up. Colors, like she light them up. Like you when you when you light them up properly. So it should, you know, it should be even on the sideway lie up as well as the straight, you know, from, you know, up from the up and down. Yep. Looks good. And she's feeling all her crystal. And I side. do that because not only does it add a little more structure to the nail when it comes to the crystals, <laughs> but it's also exactly adds a lot of bling and it ends up looking really cute. It's, it's and it catches. Yeah. Yeah. It catches all the light when you do that. So cute. No? Facebook doesn't look really perfect. Oh, I don't know. Is that just me or what? I don't know, Nancy. So sometimes the moisture will stick your crystals together, guys. Yeah. Just Does that look good? unstick it. That's not bad, but it's not what we thought it would look like. It's not looks like really um, crystal clear. Precise. Yeah. But like I said, guys, sometimes moisture is going to get your crystals. So just be careful. Make sure you're closing your crystal jars up all the way. And if not, like I said, you can just literally grab your crystals kind of gently. Spin them in your fingertips and you're, they'll, they'll unstick from each other. I'm excited to do the other crystal design that you got all ready for us, Nancy crystal design yeah that drawing he did of the dragon oh yes let me dragon see head. oh does this on the next yeah one? yeah okay it looks spiky hey silly nails okay 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 um hmm, let's see if i can see that if i can say this uh go uh, augustin honorita did i say that right Correct me if I'm wrong. 
It's okay. You can tell me. I won't be mad at you. <laughs> no one can be mad at you. No, people pronounce oh, my name wrong Oh, just talking about time. that. See? Look. That's a good idea. Yeah. See? See? Okay. That's sketching yeah. out. Sketch your nails out a little bit. It's going to be easier for you to have an idea of what you're doing. You don't have to worry about it. If you make a mistake, oh well, just do something else. There we go. I'm actually really proud of this one. It's so cute. So swipe down the sides of the nails, guys. Make sure your dragon scales aren't touching the edge of the nail. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop this into the lamp for 60 seconds. And you can see how nice and full in there I've got this looking, but it's not flooded or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly before I move on to the next nail, our beautiful master crystal kit. What's it called on the website, Nancy? I believe it's a master kit. Oh, a master kit? Your update, brand new. We updated it kit. with all the new shapes and everything. And you guys can see here, Nancy has put so much into this kit for you guys. She's going to give me a second here because it's kind of hard to show you what's all of It's the... kind of really heavy. It's super big and I'm so terrified I will drop all of these amazing crystals, which we don't want to do. So you can see we've updated a lot of our shapes So we did a lot of our 3D. We've done a lot of our different like exquisite shapes. We've added more of our shiny shield here, not just crimson and moonstone, but also in our AB. We've added oh, so many different kinds, guys. Okay. Hey, how will we Nancy do that? even put the onyx and the gold in there okay. for you. Should we close it? Yeah, maybe close it. Okay. So that way it's easier it's just to show you guys. So you can see bit. how we've put our new crystal picker. We've put our twin tip brush in there with its refined edge like we showed you. Nancy has some surprises coming for you when it comes to brushes as well, guys. So stay tuned for that. We've got some new 3D shapes in here for you as well. And we have a bunch of our really large crystals in here. That uh, is so awesome. Our mirror, we have that. Tablet. In Amber tablet. Amber tablet. Did you put the AB tablet in here? No, that's one with Amber, but then Ooh. that's going to be on a different oh, surprise. Oh, listen to Nancy. She's got more stuff up her sleeve for you. But you can see how we have so much in here. I think Nancy said this is over how many crystals? It's over 10,000 crystals. Over 10,000 crystals. So this is going to last you probably the length of your career. Just kidding. <laughs> that's awesome. All it's going to last you a couple of years, though, guys. This is not something that you're getting so that you can do it all on one nail, obviously. No, it was but really it's gonna last a forever. good for your investment and exactly. take your business to the next level. This is a great yeah. way to take your business to the next level, like Nancy's saying. And you have this. So you get not only that, but you get your selfie light, which this can go on your phone, which is really <laughs> awesome. This is going to add an element to when you're taking pictures for your clients. And this is really how you advertise yourself. When you're doing this, this is how you're showing everyone, this is what I can do, and I can take really good pictures of this. This is what it looks like. Hey, Tamika, how are you? Thank you for watching from Antigua. And then we also show you here how we, we always have our little crystal plate. We have an updated crystal plate for you guys to display everything that you want to display. You can use the inverted side, which has like a dip in the center, which will make it easier for you so you don't have to worry about anything falling off. Or you can always do what we do, ticky tack it and stick it to the back. We also have our display nails we give you in black and clear. So then you can practice on your own. And then we practice. also are giving you our 15G glue gel pot, not the 5G, this time the 15G. Then we're also giving you our Glitz Precision Pen, which I'm about to show you how to use. We're giving you our crystal picker and brush holder tray, as well as something that I use every time we go live, guys. I just wanna show you really quickly. This is what I use when I'm doing this. I'm always putting all my stuff on this. This is perfect because it keeps it away from your light so you're not curing your brushes, guys. You don't, you don't wanna be it's doing cute. that. Yeah. And then we're also giving you your two triangle trays and your scoop because as you can see here, it's kind of a necessity to have this. And your scoop is perfect because you're gonna be wanting to get your crystals out of there without scratching them or getting any wax residue on them. You can always use that little crystal picker to pick everything up and then you can use your scoop to scoop it out. So again, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your brush holder. This is what the brush holder looks like in the package. It's brand new. You can hold it with the crystal in there. Yeah, if you look on this little edge here, there's a little circle tray and there's a big rectangle tray. You can put your crystals right in the side of there. So if you don't have enough room in your triangle trays, you're always gonna be able to use this. Or maybe you set up your design inside of here and you're ready for your client whenever she shows up. So Nancy is our nail finished. Yeah. <gasps> she put it right here for me. Oh, I'm right so behind. Behind. Look at how beautiful this is. It turned out really awesome. So what you're gonna wanna do guys is after your client sticks their nail out of the lamp, you're always going to feel. You wanna feel this because you wanna make sure that there's no edges catching. Now I don't necessarily have any edges catching except right here at the tip. So I'm gonna take my precision pen and anywhere that I have an edge that's catching or anywhere that I think that I may need to go in and fill, I'm going to do that. You need to make sure you keep this red cap. Do not throw it away. Keep it on. You're gonna put it to the side and you're gonna put it right back on when you're done. Otherwise, everything's gonna spill out and after a while of doing that, you're gonna have no glue gel left and you have to buy a whole new one. You don't wanna waste your money. This is gonna last you a very long time. Okay, we, ha we have only used so far in the making of all these videos, two of these bottles and we've been doing videos for almost six months now yeah so, so much in there you're Wait. gonna be fine with that don't worry about that Just at all come with your kit and then as i said right around the edges of these i'm just gonna gently squeeze here you can see it lightly coming out and all i'm doing is going right on the edge of this and right on the edge of this one here because i know that both of these being so close to the edge means that eventually my client's gonna be wearing away the edge of that and it's gonna catch in her hair. And I don't wanna worry about that. I don't want her to have to come running back and be like, ah, my crystal. Especially if she's getting married. What if she's getting married, guys, and she has the next day and then, oh no, it's all your fault. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, Lynn, how are you, sweetie? So we're gonna go ahead and check that. Make sure everything is nice and blended out. You really need to make sure that you're not leaving any lumpy bumpy spaces there. And now that I've done that, I can go ahead and pop this right back into the lamp for another 60 seconds. And you don't have to worry about re-top coating this when you're doing it on such a small area because it is a no wipe top finish. So it's not gonna be something you ever have to go back over with. Unless you're doing a large area, you really don't have to do that. So 60 seconds in the lamp, guys. And like I said earlier, if you have any questions or concerns, always, always feel free to message us on Instagram or Facebook. And then make sure that if you want you're remembering our email, which is info at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. And you can call us anytime you want to call us, 206-771-5086. We're doing great, Lynn. Thank you. Uh, I'm pretty sure that when you're sharing this, you use the little airplane at the bottom of your screen. And then you're just going to pick and choose who you'd like to share that with on Instagram. When it comes to Facebook, it's a little different. With Facebook, it's easier because you can just share that to your page and everyone that's your friend is going to see that. So now that we are finished with that nail, once Nancy comes and shows it to me, it'll be another 10 seconds. I'm gonna get started on this more intricate crystal design. And in my opinion, this is just kind of an intermediate design. So when you're doing something that's gonna be a little harder, you can always go ahead and make a little drawing first just to give yourself an idea of how that's gonna look. Ooh, it's done. It's done, Nancy? Mm -hmm. She's gonna put it on the plate for me. So as you can see, this is the color that we're going to get started with now. And this is... Okay, this one is I like. I really like that one too, Nancy. So we have Vivid Daisy, CND Creative Play. And then I did one coat of Creative Play Green Scream on the top of that. The reason I did that is because it's a little bit of a transparent color and I didn't want to do it by itself. Ooh, so pretty. You can see exactly what that ended up turning out like. So pretty. But as you can tell, I didn't do completely all the way on the edges. And I do that generally just to save us a little bit of time, but also because I don't wanna get that too close to the edge of my client's nail. 
in case they have any problems with lifting or anything like that on so the edges. Good, you nice need to make guy. sure that you seal I it properly. I am watching for Antigua. Antigua. That's awesome. Yeah. So Who's again, that Lynn there. Yeah, it's Lynn. Lynn. We're gonna get started with our 15G pot of Glitz Glue Gel. This is the condensed form of glue gel. You can see we have this little lid here. Don't throw this away, guys. Keep this on top because that's gonna make sure everything stays nice and sealed in there when you're closing it up. A little pro tip is that you can take this and put this in a little plastic baggie so you don't have to worry about it getting out onto everything inside of your bag. It will stay nice and tight inside of there. You can see what this looks like inside of the pot as well. It's pretty condensed. And we've been using this pot for about three months, so. Long time. It's gonna last you a while. <coughs> it's gonna last you a long And then here's our twin tip brush. As I state always, number six gel end is what we're gonna get started with. You can see here what that looks like. And like Nancy was saying, we do have a little bit more of a narrowed tip on this on our new brushes. So you're not gonna have to worry about your cap catching the edges of that. Just make sure that you're watching when you put it back inside. So again, I'm gonna do a generous amount of my Glitz Glue Gel Condensed. I'm gonna go down the length of the nail and then I'm <coughs> going to float my top coat on the top of that. And because I'm gonna be using a generous amount of crystals, I'm going to use a generous amount of my Glitz Glue Gel Condensed. And I'm just trying to make sure here that everything is going to have the amount of glue gel that we need to ensure the best grip. If you guys want to know about how you do this on top of your liquid and powder or how you do this on top of your gel product, on your gel product you don't have to worry about it too much because you have an inhibition layer. And that's pretty much going to take care of your gripping stay. Lizzie. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that when I'm you're Lizzie. doing this on top of your liquid and powder that you're putting a base coat first before you do any top coating or anything like that so that you will have a nice gripping edge for your glue gel condensed. You wanna cure that for only 15 seconds. Don't cure it any longer or it's not gonna stick as well. There we go. So now what I'm gonna do that I have this on there is I'm gonna use my Glitz Glue Gel non-wipe top coat and you can use any no-wipe top coat but I really love our no wipe top coat because it stays shiny forever. My nails are almost two weeks old and you can see how shiny they are still. So we're gonna go ahead and use our floating technique. And what I mean by that is I have a generous amount here and I'm just going to gently, gently light touches, pull this down to the tip of the nail and make sure that I'm not getting any contamination from what's underneath. And like I said earlier, guys, you need to make sure when you're doing this, you're keeping the shape of your nail. So squeegee down the sides really quickly. Make sure that anything that may have displaced itself from the center to the side, because this is a self-leveling product, is not going to pull right at the edges there. Because it will do that. So you just need to watch it. You need to be careful. So what I'm gonna do, now that I have my cute little drawing, is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to try and mimic what I have on my drawing, so. It looks like a dragon, it is? Yeah, oh, it no, looks like yes a little no. dragon, yeah. Okay, that's is it the, like that? That's the, other, that's the oh. other drawing that he was showing us. Okay. So this, yeah. is, this is the one we're gonna go with, guys, and you can kind of see how it looks. So what okay. I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get started with. It looks with, spiky. Yeah, is that right? it is kind of spiky. Okay, is it the head of a dragon or what? Yeah, it's kind of, it's like, I think it's supposed to be a dragon. So I'm gonna get started with this here and I'm gonna do it just like this, I think. And then I'm going to take my little raindrops <laughs> and put me. these at the sides here. Bless you, Nancy. Thank you. And then after I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use my really beautiful million shape here. And I'm gonna put this right up on there. And it is gonna sit a little high up on the nail, but you just need to, when you're doing this, you need to make sure that you go in and you're using your Glitz Glue Gel Precision Pen and you're filling in any of those spaces that you may need to fill in. Oh, the crystal arrowhead. Yes. 
Okay. So I'm gonna okay. turn it in just a little bit so we don't have to worry too, too much about that. And then I'm going, I was going to use my polished rice, but it looks like it may be a little too tall. So or too tall up there, up there? Yeah. Where do you wanna you put it? You think it will stick up there? Uh, no, yeah. but if you're doing... Oh, maybe if I just do, do one in the center. You push it down. I know it'll kind of like... There you go. It'll look a little different, but that's Hey, okay. it looks so cool, okay? Okay. Off the so camera for the Facebook. A little bit for here. Facebook. There you go. Okay, looks good. Ooh, okay. Just like this, I think. And then just like I said, make sure you're not going too far on the edges here. So this one is staying a little closer. I'm just gonna push it in a bit. And then I'm gonna use my really cute shape here for like the tips of this. And then we're gonna use, let's see. Maybe we can, I was gonna say we could just use this one, this little guy here, maybe. It's kind of, kind of similar, not 100% the same. It's a little hard, it's a little hard to do that. There we go. That's really cool looking. And then, I feel like the center is a little bare, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna fill that in with my dragon scale, I think. And that's gonna give us a little bit of pop. So we're gonna use the yellow, since it'll have a more of a contrast huh. with the green. Oh, Vicky say something high, but we didn't see her. Sorry, oh, we no, miss you Vicky, completely. I didn't see it. I'm sorry, darling. And like I said earlier, guys, if you find that it's kind of hard for you to see whether it's upside down or not just shake it around a little bit you'll figure it out so we're gonna fill in this little area here with our dragon scale we can even I mean we can probably do even more a B crystal if we wanted to this has a really cute feel to it I think somehow it's insta it's just it wasn't that it's just not today. cooperating with us yeah, yeah. But it's okay. Jenny off the camera as a Facebook, I think. Oh no. Better? Jenny, come back. Jenny, come, come back, back, Jenny. Oh, I like that. Okay, okay, yeah, Jenny. I too. Look at that, how sparkle, how shiny the crystal is. And then I think I'm gonna fill in those tiny, tiny little spaces with SS3. Yeah, SS3. Do we have some? Yeah. There we go. You can see how I, if I have to move anything around, I will. That way I don't have to worry about it later. But I'm gonna put some SS3 in here and that's gonna fill in that little area. This is kind of cool. Hugh, he gave us such a good idea. Okay, that's a cool idea. Next will be in Martin. <laughs> yeah, it's his turn again. Yes, we are. Give us the inspiration. You guys can pull inspiration from literally anywhere, whether it's your peers or the internet. Are you off camera. Come back, Jenny. Don't leave me. Wherever you want to pull your inspiration from. And you don't have to worry about going in and filling in these little areas with your glitz glue gel precision or anything like that. Because this is on the inside of something. It's not very likely that this is going to get oh, knocked okay. off. Okay, so then Instagram and Facebook looks really clear right now. Okay, good. Look. It's good. So we clean. were worried. Looks good. Perfect. Jenny came back. Ooh, it's so cute. It is like a little dragon shape with like a little horn on the top. It's so cute. It looks like a dragon. Oh, it looks like Sudoku. Oh, it's so cute. All right, so you guys can see I've kept it away from the edge here. We don't want to go so far over the edge. You want to be very careful about that because otherwise you're going to have to deal with catching and you don't want the client to worry about catching. So now that I've done this, I really like the way that it looks. I don't really want to add too much more to it because it might distort the way that the shape is looking because that's the whole reason we did this. We wanted to kind of mimic this shape here. I think we've done a pretty good job of that. 
at least with the size of the nail that we have hey, and how we're fitting we, everything on uh, there. Blitz Crystal can describe what Jenny's want yeah. to deliver. It looks like little eyes in there too, the way I did it that. Is. So now that we have this like this, guys, we're gonna pop this in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then we're gonna go around with our precision pen because we wanna fill in all these little spaces where everything has been raised up, okay? So 60 seconds in the lamp. You only need to do 60 seconds because you're doing your non-wipe top coat, which should only take 60 seconds to cure. And underneath your glitz glue gel, I mean your glitz glue gel condensed only takes 60 seconds to cure as well. So in case you guys are curious, all of the shapes I just used are in the kit that we showed you a few moments ago, the master kit. I'm gonna show you one more time in case you missed it. We've got so many crystals, over 3,000. So many. And we gave you the golden and we gave oh, you the onyx. Over 10,000. Over 10,000. Oh, oh, I've lowballed it. It's over 10,000. Excuse me. I, got, I, I was lying to you guys. <laughs> In the in the good way lying. Like you get more. You get way more. Jenny's you get way thing. more than what you you get six thousand more than what Jenny said. So as you guys can see, <coughs> we're putting our new crystal picker in here for you, which has your dotting tool on the end, which is what I was just using and showing you. This is our amazing twin tip brush. We have our lighter end and we have our number six gel end, which has been narrowed slightly so that you guys will be able to stick the cap back on and not worry about anything catching inside the cap. We're also throwing in our glitz glue gel in the 15G pot. We're throwing in our precision pen, which I'm about to show you how to use. We're throwing in our beautiful crystal tray. This is um, something that you can put your crystals in here. You put your brushes or your crystal picker here. All of that's really awesome. And then you can also use your selfie light, which we're giving you. And this is gonna be something that you're gonna be able to take all your pictures with. This is gonna give you enough light so that when you're taking your pictures, you get all the glitzy beautifulness of your crystals. Hello, he's adorable. We're also giving you your crystal plate. And this does have an inverted side and it does have a flat side. And that way you can ticky tack it on the back or you can put whatever you want to in the center and not have to worry about it falling out. We're giving you our two triangle trays and a scoop as well. And we're also throwing in our display tips in black and clear. This is really awesome. So all this stuff is gonna be a really, really good value for you. I think it's a little... Nancy, how much did this kit cost? So I give them the right price. I don't wanna lowball it again and give you the wrong price. It's worth of over $1,000. It's over $1,000, but, but you we're get giving it, it to you. For seven ninety nine. dollars And if you're using, doing whole month of launching out this specially, Just really this month, amazing though, case. From April 17 to May 17, you're using code Jenny W, J-E-N-N-Y-W. You can save 10% off of all all products, all orders, and free shipping of all order of over $150. So with this kit, you're gonna get your free shipping. For yes, sure. and then it will take you down for ten, another 10%, which is just awesome. It's an amazing deal that we'll put it together for you, just for you, for appreciations. So guys, what you're watching me do now is I've got my precision pen out. And bye, Lily. Bye, Lily. We're gonna see you on live soon. I've got my precision pen out and I'm just filling in any of the edges where there's gonna be a sharp edge. And I wanna do this because I wanna make sure that my client isn't worrying about them catching in anything and also that everything is nice and filled in and it's not going to be popping off. And you can see here how I'm filling up underneath and that's because there was a little bit of space there and I don't want that to be something my client has to worry about. You need to make sure everything's curing properly I'm going around every little edge that I think that I need to cap, and I'm just making sure all the sides of my crystals are encapsulated. And you notice how I said the sides of my crystals are encapsulated. You don't want to encapsulate your whole crystal, because it's gonna take away all the shine of your crystal, and your crystals are cut in a way that reflects the light. So as soon as you take that reflective surface away, it will no longer be shiny. 
This is a great tip for anyone who thinks that they can use glue on the end of their toothpick and stick the crystals on because I promise you that that's going to look horrible. You're going to ruin the crystal and it will no longer be shiny, I promise you. So now that I've done this one time, I'm gonna pop it in the lamp for 60 seconds and then I'm gonna go back a second time because I really need to do that due to the height of some of these crystals. Otherwise, there will be issues with scratching your client. You don't want her to scratch herself. It's not fun when you scratch yourself in the face with your hand. So definitely be careful. Hey, Miss Lady, how are you? I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. I'm sorry I wasn't here yesterday. I was still on vacation. I was having an exhausting day of riding planes. I'm glad I'm home now. Riding planes is not, not fun. Not because I'm scared of the plane, more so because it was a whole lot of walking and sitting, and I was tired of doing that after a while. <laughs> so again, in case you missed our first nail, I'm gonna show you here. This is what we did about 15 minutes ago. We did a almost full coverage dragon scale nail with our yellow and our green. I really love the way that that turned out so beautiful so now that this has been in the lamp for 60 seconds we're gonna go back like I said we're gonna go back on every single point here and you can feel it and make sure that it's not sharp if it is sharp just go back in with your precision pen and make sure that you're filling it again because you don't want there to be any issue with that so again, right at the point of that, you just want to make sure everything is nice and filled. And I'm doing this all around the edges of all my crystals because like I said, when your client leaves, they're going to be like, oh, it looks so beautiful. They're not going to think about, oh, I might scratch myself. You're the one that needs to be thinking about that, not your client. If you think about it now, she doesn't have to think about it later. Off the camera. There we, we go. We see your nail, Jennies. We see all your nails. There we go. Perfect. Anything where you're going to have lumpy bumpy, you can always go in and use your brush and kind of brush that out a little bit. Because you don't want to have so much on there that that's what that looks like. <laughs> so take your brush. You're going to wipe it off gently so that you don't have to worry about any excess glitz glue gel. Talent. Just nice and you, smooth. There we go. And I barely had to brush that out, but that's what you're going to want to do there. Because you don't want there to be that giant lump, but you do want to make sure that you're doing it properly so that there's not a giant bunch of height on that side of that crystal. I know I said giant like six times just now. I'm sorry. <laughs> My vocabulary is dwindling. All right, so I'm gonna pop this back in the lamp for 60 <laughs> seconds and then I may do it again. Okay guys, it doesn't matter how many times you have to go back in and do it, just make sure that you're doing it. Because not only is it gonna make it stay on the nail, but also it's gonna ensure that your client's not scratching herself in the face. And I'm stressing this because I've scratched myself in the face. It's not, it's not fun. You get a big scratch mark on your face. And oh no, what did I do to myself? Mm -hmm. Well, you did it to yourself. You knew better. Hey, Veronica, how are you, sweetie? Oh, we're glad you met. We're back, Miss Lady. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to talk about the master kit again. You get over 10,000 crystals. You're going to get a variety of things that are going to fill up your arsenal and you're going to get all of that stuff for $799. So you save 40, save over $200. Now you will get another 10% off using Jenny, Jenny W code. code. And free shipping of all your orders, $150 or more. And you'll get all everything that you need to support your business to take it's, your business to exactly it's not something to take lightly like you think oh my god seven hundred dollars nine seven hundred ninety nine dollars but i promise you in the long run you're going to be making all that money back in the first two months that you have your crystal kit 
So it's a really great investment for you. So again, I'm literally just going at the point of this and making sure that everything is nice and smooth. I just don't want to have to worry about my client touching herself up in, the in her face. Oh. Up in the okay guys, so again, brushing it out just slightly to make sure that there's no lumps or bumps in anything. And then back into the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm just gonna top coat this light area at the top here, because I didn't really go around anything else. I didn't need to go down at the bottom here because I don't have to worry about that. It's all nice and sealed in. Okay, 60 seconds, one more time. And then top coat. So, tip that I'm gonna tell you a million times. Put your cap back onto your Glitz Precision Pen. This is how it should look before you put this cap on. This is how it should look before you put this cap on. Then you can put this cap on. When you don't do it the way I just showed you, it will spill out all inside of this cap. It will spill out the side. It will go all over the table. But I have a cute little trick for you. If you don't want to use your precision end and you just want to use your little liner end, you can because secret time, it has a liner brush too. Okay guys, so you don't have to just use the precision pen. You can also use your liner brush. That's gonna be really helpful for you if you're going around an area where you can't exactly fill in with your needle, okay? Mm. I'm so tired. Oh, because I had such an exhausting day yesterday in the plains. And then your time changing, so you might have a jet lag. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Even one hour off, but it's still. Yeah, but still a little bit. So now I'm going to use my Glitz glue gel. I mean, I'm sorry, my Glitz and all my top coat. And I'm just going to go right in this little crevice here. You off the camera, baby. Oh, sorry. Off Facebook. And then I'm just going to go right around the edges up at the top here so that I know everything's nice and shiny and I don't have to worry about that at all. Be very careful so that you don't go over the top of your crystals. And then just pop that right into the lamp for me. 60 seconds and you're good to go and you have your beautiful little dragon on there. Thank you, Nancy. Can you do that on my nails? Do it on your nails? Yeah. Your nail's not big enough, Nancy. You got the short nails now. No. Oh, your thumbnail, you think you can fit it on there? Yeah. Yeah, you probably can, you're right. She could probably fit it on the thumbnail. I have the short nails now. Well, that looks so pretty. That's so pretty, Nancy. Okay, Nancy. Look at that one. Whoo. That's okay. Kevin's kind That's the bling bling right there, Nancy. It's so shiny by itself. You don't need to top coat it at no, all. No, you don't. Top coating it, honestly, isn't going to do anything for you. Just takes more time. Well, no I reason. would think if, if, if you put the top coat on, so we have some question to ask and you should we put the top coat on. It's on your call. If you want to feel like you want to do, you feel free to do it. So mm -hmm. then you don't feel like, okay, there's limited things. So you can do that. But for us, we have done so many clients. We never have any issue with that. And it's actually, you take a top coat on, it might take away from a shiny on Dragon yeah. Scout. Mm -hmm. So the same like when you top coat your crystal, it might take away from your shine, shine slightly. And... Just definitely, for sure. There we go, guys. So beautiful. We have our dragon nail and we have our dragon scale nail. Let me get these both on the plate for you so you can see them. I'm going to put our other dragon scale right in the center of it so that you guys can see a little bit of contrast here. So pretty. And then I'm just gonna gently wipe the surface of my nail. And the reason that you do this is because sometimes your crystal picker will have a little bit of a residue because it is wax and it's gonna transfer to the surface of the crystal. So all you need to do there is just give it a nice gentle wipe with a cloth and it will be as shiny as it was the second that you put it on there. Ooh, Look how beautiful our dragon is. He's so cute. Aw, like his name is Hugh. We'll name, we'll name him after Hugh. Okay. Hey, Hugh, that's, that's your nails. <laughs> that's on. your nail, man. <laughs> 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 
There we go, guys. Again, make sure that when you're checking out, when you're using your Jenny W code, you're gonna get 10% off of your $7.99 kit. That's a pretty good deal there. Not only that, but that's only gonna be lasting for the month. So it's gonna go from the 17th of this month until the 17th of next month. And you're also going to get all your goodies, including a crystal plate like I'm using right here, except yours is even more awesome because it has an inverted side. So you can put anything you want to in it. You don't have to worry about it tilting or shifting out. Yeah. Okay, I just wanna add it quick with Jenny. Well, the case is updated for you all the time there, but to take another advantage of 10% off. So it will last you whole entire months from the 17, April 17 to May 17 to take the opportunity to get 10% off. Exactly. Cover. And then um, also free shipping over. Free shipping yeah, over, 150. over $150. So you end up saving quite a bit of money. Yes, just a lot of that. money for that. For your, this, if you, you look at it in your camera when we're doing live video, it was nothing. But if you have that, your hands on this kit, it will make so much it's difference. It's so you mean like, beautiful. Oh my God, it's wow. That's so much crystal for you to work on. And it's great investments for your business, for anything that you want to do it to take your business, you know, in a beautiful To the next nails, level. Mm -hmm, professional business to the next level. We have everything, the tools and the special Anything that you. you need, we've supplied for you because we want you to have the best advantage when you're doing this, guys. To make sure it works in your it career goes by to easier. be so much easier. And not only does it go by easier, but also you're going to make money in the process. So yeah. easy and money maker. And that's so really here, what you want. Why are we doing this? Just two quick tip and tricks after we're done. We're beautiful. And the same, Jenny's. can I borrow that one? Is this really cool? We did we did few nails like this. If you in the salon that is the clients just start introduce with the crystal application. It's not like old fashioned way before when you're using is all resins and just plastic crystal or whatever you call. And um, this tip that's why we have it in right here for you is good it's like forty five over forty of them I believe. But then we give you a each. boat in each. in um. I think so. It's like 12, 12 age, 24. Okay. No, it, I think it's 45. So, yeah. but anyways, they give you a lot, a good amount of it. So then you can do that. Some simple like this to displays at your salon. And your clients are going to see that and they're going to know that that's something you offer. If you don't have something that your clients can see visually, they're not going to know that that's something they can get. Like this. So we oh. always have something like this in our area, in our station. We have these all over the salon with all the nails that we do, every single live video, because we want our clients to know that they have a possibility of choosing any of these things because they don't have the imagination we have. Some of yep. them do, definitely, and they're gonna bring you ideas and they're gonna show you stuff, but not all of them are gonna have that. Yep. Some so of them are gonna want you to pick something or they're gonna want you to do something and maybe you don't have an idea right away. If you don't, you can always say, I want you to just look at my display case and see if there's something you like. And if not, we can go off of one and we can customize what you want because I have everything I need to do that. And then you also have the displays. And so that's gonna pretty. allow you to show that. You can, you can just put this like right at your station. But your is, this newest one than the yeah, one Yeah, this Jenny's. is a newer one. That's This is our older one here. And then you also have everything you want. This is the your best. Picture. This is my best friends for the picture you're taking. Nancy loves it so much. So and then this. And then you, you get have your everything. Glitz you have your precision. Tools. You get your glitz condensed. All those things that you need in order to create beautiful nails, you will have it. Mousier, I think that's how we say that. So how everything's you? for you for a really special price. What is that? I want to show them really quick. Oh. When your nails start to get dirty, guys, you just tell your clients, take a little toothbrush and gently brush the surface hey, of your crystals, I get a little okay? Brush. I'll show you this. Oh, Nancy's gonna show us her mega amazing brush. This oh. brush, oh my gosh. And I just, I just wanted to show you guys that because sometimes people will be like, well, what if they get stuff in the crevices, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to worry about that. Just gently toothbrush, gently nail brush. It will come out and just wash your hands like normal. Here we go. 
So we do actually have these for you guys to buy. As you can see, Nancy has freaking decked hers out. You can see the back of all the crystals here. And then bling right there. Bling. So if this is something you wanna do, maybe you have some of your crystals that you've had them for a really long time, you've kept them in a bag, maybe they're not our crystals, maybe they're just something you got at the dollar store, whatever you wanna do, just stick them on the back of this brush, you can really make it look beautiful. Well, you can get the kits of so many <laughs> and crystals. Then, and then you can do. do whatever you want with it. <laughs> you can do whatever you want with it. You this. can practice your crystal <laughs> placement. All right, right guys, thank, thank you, you so much. much. We've had a wonderful, oh, well, there we Bye, go, Instagram. Instagram. We've had a wonderful day, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, bye.